for a minute about row gauge. Usually the gauge we're most interested in is the stitch gauge because that affects the size of our garment and that's usually the most important. However, row gauge is important in the following three or four scenarios. The first is when you are picking up stitches along an edge, like say you've knit a cardigan and you want to pick up stitches for a button band, you need to know your row gauge. If you're doing raglan sleeves, you need to be sure you get the right row gauge for your pattern or your sleeves will not fit well. And also if you're working multicolor designs like Fair Isles, like an Alice Starmore pattern, you'll need to be sure you have the same row gauge as the pattern calls for in addition to the stitch gauge because otherwise you might end up truncating either a color pattern or a cable pattern at an odd place when you get up to the neckline or the shoulders. So all of those patterns, whether they be color work or cable, are, are based on a certain row gauge. So you want to be sure in those situations you also check your row gauge. So here's how you would check your row gauge. Again, on a blocked piece of, of swatch, you're going to line up your um, zero mark at the bottom of a V, okay, and then you're going to count how many stitches in, count over two or three inches and divide by two or three to get it, to be sure it's accurate. And just as for the row gauge, I tend to cover the stitch as I count it, just so that I don't lose my place. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have twelve stitches, or I'm sorry, twelve rows in two inches.